Hey guys, Eric here from Oski Homebrew, and today... We're brewing a cider. Brewing, making a cider. We're fermenting apple juice. Coming up next. We've never actually done a cider before. It just so happened Imperial Yeast had a has a seasonal yeast out right now called Bubbles A40, um, but it ferments at 57 to 77. Flocculation, flocculation is medium. Attenuation is anywhere from 85 to 100 percent, and it kind of just makes things convenient. So today we're using Kirkland Signature Apple Juice 100 percent. If you're going to use anything else. Just make sure there's no preservatives in it. You can use clear apple juice. You can use cloudy cider for this. Um, making sure there's no preservatives and you'll be okay. I've read online that people have had very good luck with the Kirkland Signature Costco branded uh, apple juice. And it's fairly reasonably priced at I think eight or nine dollars for two of these. And then reviewing the steps of how we're gonna do this, we're probably gonna break this video up into two videos mostly because I'm gonna start the fermentation today, which will be probably a short video, and then I'm gonna come back and add uh, potassium sorbate to inhibit the yeast and probably secondary the, the uh, cider, um, and then probably back sweetened with uh, brown sugar. So today's video, we're gonna take our apple juice, uh, put it in our carboy. First, we're going to sanitize it, and then we're gonna pitch yeast, throw it under the stairs inside the house, Come back in about a week and a half and show you part two of making cider. So first things first, let's go ahead and clean up our carboy. Um, this is a five gallon carboy. I've got four gallons here. I want to try and leave as much headspace. I'm not sure how uh, active and how crazy this fermentation is going to get. So I'm going to leave about a gallon of headspace on the carboy. Uh, hopefully that'll give me enough to we don't cause any explosions in my closet because my fiance would be real pissed. foam doesn't push out the apple juice that I'm pouring in, which it probably is. Typically when we brew, it's not a big deal because we get a tube going down the middle of it. I wonder if I could shake it up if that would decrease the foam. But I don't have many other choices right now. That worked pretty good. I got some headspace there now. Keep going. So close. Hey, there we go. One really good shake. And now they're coming back. Let's go hurry up and do this. Now we get to pitch the yeast. Yeast is officially pitched. One thing I forgot to do is actually add the yeast nutrient. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Typically, typically you would add yeast nutrient to the end of a boil of a beer. So it's already boiling. It would already make sure there's not in the living, any, nothing living in it to contaminate it. I guess I'll have to boil some water and just add it to this. I mean, I've only got to use less than half a teaspoon. I'll probably use half a teaspoon. That's for five gallons, we're doing four gallons, so <sighs> let's go do that. All right, so now that we've got everything in here, uh, I took about maybe like half a cup to a cup of water to start boiling it and added our yeast nutrient. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this. It's cooled down now, so hopefully this goes better than the apple juice. No. Get all that stuff mixed up. 
I'm gonna put this under the stairs for about a week, week and a half. And then I will see you in the second part of this video and that's gonna be adding the potassium sorbate and back sweetening with brown sugar. Um, hopefully this comes out all right. So overall, uh, today seemed to go pretty well, kind of step by step, um, pretty easy, just adding <laughs> apple juice, uh, yeast, and yeast nutrient. Uh, that's all for part one. Part two is gonna be adding the sorbet and back sweetening with brown sugar, so keep an eye out for that. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get a notification each time we come out with a new video, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Maybe in the future this will actually be a cider. <laughs>